When I was a football coach, one of the biggest parts of the job is to watch film. Film can be consisted of your games, it could be practices, but also it could be other opponents, it could be other teams and leagues. I love to watch college film, I love to watch NFL, and I did it all for learning purposes. And guys, today on the channel, I'm going to uh, share with you a learning opportunity. We're going to go to watch live scope footage, and I'm going to talk you through it to help you learn to get better at the live scope, or let's say you do not have a live scope, just to see what it is about guys so if you do have it this is going to be a great opportunity for you if you do not i think you can still get something out of this guys let me know if you like this style of video but i'm doing this to help you as a better angler now guys just so you know on this footage okay it's from a very uh, variety of lakes. There's going to be fish catches on it, not fish catches on it. Um, and, and guys, I'm not going to show you the actual fish fishing of me uh, for the sake of the spots potentially or lakes, whatever. Uh, there's footage on it, guys, from Fork, um, Lake Washita, DeGray, I think, uh, Greeson, down the road over here, Greeson. Uh, some of my other lakes on here, Millwood. There's going to be Millwood footage on here, guys, from my Arkansas dudes. So, guys, um, let me know what you think about this style of video. If you do like this style, I will go ahead and do one of these maybe once a month. As I get more footage, I'll just do this to try to help coach you guys up, okay? Once again, trying to help you out as an angler and also helps me because, guys, I go back and watch all this footage too, okay? I, you know, I don't just record it and just, you know, let it sit on my phone. I go back and watch it, all right? That was the thing as a football coach. I love to watch film. I still do. I, I watch football for the learning part to see how they run the plays, how they do the blocking schemes, how that receiver runs his route, the little, little details. And this little details can help you out on not just using the live scope, just understanding fish behavior and lures and stuff, okay? Guys, enough of me talking. Let's go get into it. Hey guys, here we go. Let's start this thing off with a bang, man. I don't not believe I'm sharing this with you guys. Uh, this is this is this is actually there's a lot of great teaching in this. You're about to see um, a it was right probably under five pounds fish caught on a glide bait. Now, right off the bat, now not all of these you know are gonna be fish catches. We're gonna have different uh, structure and stuff, but this is a, a good one to start off with. So guys, you kind of see right there, and I had my, my cursor bigger for you guys, okay? Now, hey, there's already fish right here. I've already caught fish. They're under the boat. There's some fish up here. We're going to let this thing play. A little bit of a tree right there. You see these fish. These dots are fish. Fish are all right there. Here comes my glide bait. That's the glide bait. These are good fish coming up at it, okay? That's bait right there. Fish, 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 fish. So there's fish here under the boat still, okay? There goes my glide bait. Here, look at all these fish coming up. Here, look at them. Like These are good fish. Now, real quick, as you're watching this, you're seeing these tails move on the fish. Now, I know it's easy for you to see it right here, but to be able to see this live action helps you understanding that it's a big, big bass. Guys, there's still fish back here. I think I've already caught like four or five fish off this. One thing, too, to note, 12.2 volts, not the best volts. My, my battery at the time, it's time to get a new battery, okay? 12.5 to 12.7 is pretty good on my picture, okay? But I know some people want 13. I bet I know, I know 13 is better, but I'm just, you know, this, anyway. Don't got a lithium battery right now, and I'm going to be looking to get me a small lithium just for my Garmin in the future. So here we go. Now you're going to see the fish catch. Oh, right there. I got them right there. That's what that was. Let me rewind real quick. So you're going to see the fish hit it. Boom. You actually, I don't think, saw the fish hit it, but you see me. He hit it. I set the hook. He's going down, fighting. There goes all of his buddies, okay? He's not in the picture, but he's going to come back here in a second. This dude fought pretty good. There's a couple of his buddies. There, I think he's swimming right there. Maybe in the deal. Let me see. Um, the cone's really big for a Garmin, so he might get part of this. But look, like here's all the fish under the boat. And I think he's kind of fighting that way. And hear me forward real quick. Da, 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 da. Look, 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 look. So like, look, look, here he is. One's going up here to check out what's going on. Look, they're all under the boat. Okay, yep. Yeah. It's crazy. But let's go back. Let's go back. Look, there's still some fish back here. But here you go. Goes the glide bait. Yep. Yep. Here we go. Look at them fishies. Yep. Good fishies. And then boom, got him. Okay, here we go. Let's go to the next one now. Hey guys, this is the same group of fish. I should have probably shown this one first, but I thought the glide bait was better. Uh, this was actually the second fish catch off of this. Uh, I didn't record the first one. This is a 10XD crankbait. 
Uh, 10XD is too deep for the spot, I know. But anyway, I had it on. And um, I like the 10XD because it's hitting the bottom back here. Now, you're not going to see the fish catch. See, there's already some fish under the boat because I caught one. There they are right there. I mean, look at all them fish. Let's go back. Let's go backwards. Look at all them fish right there. Yeah, nice. Now, the one thing with bass, you're going to see like this and that live scope guys is pointing you don't know how that fish is turned or, or directed let me hit stop now that's all there they are that's all bass 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 you know um bass typically like they you know depending how that thing's pointing they're gonna have a bright center to it okay and you know they will kind of have this shape depending on how they're pointed as you see right here now you're not going to see the crankbait until the fish catch Okay, the crankbait's going to come in here. I mean, look at all these bass down here. Okay, um, the crankbait's out. I think it's about to come in. Boom, there's a fish right there with it. Here they all come. Okay, so it's one thing with the 10XD and crankbaits. You don't got to throw and watch them. You just got to see them, throw that dude out there and reel it. So they're all on the bottom. That crankbait's back there. There's some fish around the, uh, the tree right here. Look at these fish swimming. Uh, and then boom, there he goes. I think that fish was about three pounds. Here they all go falling. You know, they're seeing what their buddy's doing. Where's old, where's old Greg going? And now they're all over there in the boat. Anyway, let's go to the next one. Guys, this one's uh, pretty neat. Okay, get ready. All right. You might see some something there on the bottom. There's some bait fish. Ooh, bait fish. Actually, that's thick enough to be a group of fish. But that's not what we're looking at. That might not be bait. Boom. Okay. That right there, guys. That's a table. This is an awning. This is from when one of my lakes was 27 feet high. And the swimming area was underwater. So I went and got some shots. You see that? Go back. You see that table really clear there. Pretty neat, huh? Now that's bait fish. This right here is a pretty good sized group of fish over here just hanging out. How just they're real thick and bright in color. Um, but yeah, look. There's that awning. Pretty neat, isn't it? Yep. There's that awning. I wonder if I caught a fish off that. I don't know. That's just woods from, like, that's, you know, normally out of water that's not out of water, okay? Short clip here, guys. You see the little rock spot right there? Little rock spot deal. Fish, fish, fish. They're bright. Uh, now, with the squares, I kind of like to have the squares there, all right? I know some people say it clutters the screen, and it, it doesn't really bother me, okay? I like the squares. I get a good idea of how big the fish are, okay, and where my, you know, bait is and just all that stuff. Now I'm going to slow-mo it. They're chasing a 6-inch mag draft right now. You see them following in it. Okay, here we go. Let's go back. There they are. Here comes my mag draft. Mag draft is right there. Boom, boom, boom. Here it comes, and now they're chasing it. Man, nope. These are some good-sized fish. If you kind of go right, right there, I mean, that's 5 feet. And that dude, you know, yeah, two foot long, potentially, okay? Potentially. These fish already were thrown at quite a bit. These were never like my, most of these are not like my first time thrown at them. Oop, there they go. Yep. Here, guys, okay? So, what we have here, you see the bait right away. There's bait. My Alabama rig is coming in right here. I found this big fish actually on the 2D, just graphing out in the middle of, uh, middle of water, as you tell them, in 90 foot. Bait. Okay, and how they looked on 2D, I knew it was a big fish, um, and it just didn't seem too big, like too big to be a, a gar, just kind of how it was, and uh, there's not much stripers in this lake, uh, so I knew it wasn't a striper. Now, look, there she is chasing the Alabama rig. I sped it up, but um, I didn't do something right to get this fish to bite, but up, there's my Alabama rig. Here comes the fish. Here in a second, you can see that tail real nice. Um... So this fish just hanging around the bait, right? But it did not like the Alabama rig. It did not like it. I think I should have reeled it faster. Uh, going back to it, I think I should have reeled it faster. Like right there, done. Right there when it kind of went to level. Nope, that fish knows. I tried to get it to come back. Nope, and there it is, just hanging out. Out here, oh, here comes his friend. Out here in some water. So uh, this is one of the things I did, guys, to get good at this, was uh, find bait out here. Look, it's out here at 90 foot just throw this thing and you know there we go i did catch some fish this day doing this just no bigs this is a lake greasing guys so this is a mega for lake greasing if you know about anything about lake greasing 
the lake that has grass. You can probably guess where this is, but this is uh, not going to be a fish catch or anything. Just to kind of show you some structure. That's a brush pile right there. Okay, brush pile. And then, you know, when I turn it kind of back to the right, I believe, I remember where I'm at, turn it back to the right, boom. There's grass, and then look, there's actually another brush pile, okay? So that brush pile that was over here was kind of more in a drain, I would say. There's staining timber over there, all right? So this thing's turned to the left. Then I turn back right, and there's grass and another brush pile, okay? So now this cone is pretty big, but uh, somehow got perfect on like they're in the same kind of depth. Now this one, as you can see, they did put this around a tree, okay? But somebody nicely knew that, that hey, there's this grass, this is hydrilla, put the brush pile there. But when you kind of turn to the left, see there was like nothing right there, and you turn back over here, boom, brush pile, okay? So just kind of interesting just to show you guys. Um, just show you guys this clip right here. Okay, this one's an interesting one. I already lost this fish. This fish. And then I decided to record. Lost on Alabama rig. It was on, I think this stump right here. There's stumps and fish all up in here, guys. I brought the rig by. It hit it. And it hit it. Went at the stump, I think. And got me hung up on it. I went towards it, of course, with my boat. And then it got off. I pull back out and I saw this fish here. So let's kind of watch. You about to see my Alabama rig come at it. Um, and so I, you know, I just wanted to record and see if it could maybe bite again, but it didn't. You'll see my Alabama rig come in. Here it comes. There's, you know, here it comes. And then you all of a sudden, that fish sees it. But here comes some more, just out of nowhere. Here they come. It's pretty cool. They come up, check it out. Look at all these fish. Good fish right here. Um, this is a muddy lake, by the way. But look at all the dudes back here. Like, look at all the little guys just moving around back there. There's another one right there. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool video here for teaching purposes. Like, and this is a muddy lake, and this was muddy this day. Um, and you see them, kind of the fish. Now, I don't think that's not all fish. Now, so here's the thing. These are Some of these are lily pad stems. I shouldn't tell y'all. Lily pad stems. Y'all can guess where I'm at now. But there's so, so some of that's lily pad stems right there. Of course, that's wood. And like how that was set up, there's a you can tell that fish there. Um, and there might be some fish in those stems right there. It's kind of hard to tell. I mean, I think, you know, with my, my control motor mover, there's a fish right there. Fish. Look at all these fish around the stump. So cool. And then here comes my Alabama rig again. Nope. Done with that. I already, you know, we already lost you. Uh, you, you, know, you already fooled us once, not fooling us again. Good one for teaching here. You see these fish right away. I'm going to hit play. Now, I already caught a six-pounder out of this group. They're kind of broken up now. But here at the end of the clip, you're going to see the dots back here, and I tried to back off of them. This is just one of those random no-nothing banks I like to fish. Okay, You see them dudes back there, and there's a good one kind of here, but these are them. Okay, These are them. There's some fish there. There they are. Those are the bass. Those are the dudes over there hanging out. I did not throw at these fish again after I caught that six because uh, I just didn't. I did not want to mess with them because I was going to come back later and try to catch them. But you see them. There they are. Bass like to do that, guys. They, 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 they like to have a little space. Now, there's like 20, 30 of them. It's hard to tell, but like they do. Like These guys like to have a little space. As you see, they're just there hanging out on the bottom. Got that dude over here, the loner. Anyway, I may have saved one of the better ones for last. I don't know where I'm going to put this in, but it's going to be the last. All right, guys, here we go. This is about to be a mega right here. Okay, I lost this fish at the boat this day. I caught a seven, and this one was bigger than that. You see them big dots right there? Good fish. Yep. I like this lava palette. Everybody's eyes are different. You see some bigs, bait fish, bait fish. Here comes old Dixie. Old Dixie Jet Talon. So then, here we go. I'm going to bring that dude up, and there they go. They're chasing her. Bring it up. Here they come off the bottom, as you see. Right there, I caught one, and there they go. Nope, no, here, I caught it here. I caught it here. I'm sorry. Boom. So let's go back. Now she's fighting. So then I hopped it again. Here we go. One of them got it, and we're just going to follow it. So there it goes. It's now fighting. She said, that's a big fish right there. I mean, big fish. Here comes the friends. Look at that fish fighting right there. Let's just go back. Let's go back. 
I mean, you see how, I mean, that fish, how big that fish is right there. Look at its friends, though. Look at the friends coming. Then it jumps right there at the boat. Okay, you see up top? Watch it. It's going to jump if you have that in your recording. And then it, 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 it gets off. And then its friends come and meet him. And like, oh, you made it. Yes, we're all good. Go back. There's my spoon. Throw it up. Here they come. Boom. And came up and got it. Here we go. Okay, I want to save this one for last. This is one um, we have put together here. You're going to see, so this is a map of a lake where this brush pile is. You're going to see the side image, down imaging, 2D, underwater camera. You're going to see what it looks like on forward-facing sonar with a 32. I've tried not to do any 32 transducer footage because I have a 34 now. And I just, anyway, uh, 34 is a lot better. So, I'm sorry if you don't got 34 and you don't want to, you know, you're going to tell me something about them spending the money. I understand that situation. My 32 broke. I had to go to a 34. So that was mine. But guys, here we go. So this is the brush pile on 2D sonar. Okay. How mine's set up is for my 2D sonar it's set up very, very particular. And I changed it on lakes. But like you see, it's bright right here. That's the wood. And this is just all the kind of the brush. Um, there's the down imaging. Now there is like, and that's another little brush spot off of it that came off this. So my setup does not show almost everything at times on 2D. I like it. If it's like a light piece of standing timber, it doesn't show up. I have this thing made up to where like big fish pop out. Uh, so let's now go to this. All right, so there you go. You kind of see it here. It's a pretty good picture. There's this, there's like the trunk of the tree or the base, right? branches side image there it is right there you see the shadow you see it kind of going around the shadow okay there's that other little piece over there here it is on live scope i let the live scope play now there's not you don't see any fish like okay those could be some fish up there baby fish babies all right nothing crazy about this now, if you like this, by the way, you're about to see the underwater camera. I don't have the camera right now. Johnny has it, but I can get it back. But I got a couple of these already made up that I might just share down the road if you like this style of video. Now, the underwater footage here shows a lot. I mean, it shows the tree and that little fish right there. You see that little fish coming up? Yep, let's go, let's go check it out. Here it is, the tree that's underwater. Okay. Uh... Might see some fishing line there. And as we saw, there was no fish around this guy. Oh, there's one up hidden in there, though. Little baby bass. Yep, hanging in there by himself. Wondering where all the... Oh, we got a crappie. Crappie in the house. So anyway, there was no fish to see around this guy. And there still are not any fish, okay? So pretty, pretty cool. Anyway, let me know, guys, if you like this style of video. Okay, I'm going to continue to and try to get more recordings on my live scope. Do this for teaching purposes. I mean, this could be a monthly video. Uh, let me know if you guys like it. Leave me comments, please, any questions. And uh, appreciate it. Thank you very much.